All right, here we are at our 1996 Sea Ray 250 Sundancer for sale. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. Now, I do need to point out that the current slip that this one is in is not transferable, but there is a tandem axle uh, matching uh, steel painted trailer that is included with this one. It uh, does have new tires. This is thought to be about a three owner boat and also thought to have always been in fresh water. This is powered by a 5.7 liter Mercruiser V8 inboard outboard stern drive engine with uh, about, I think it's about 540 engine hours and a Bravo 2 outdrive. We're here for our video walkthrough tour as usual. We will invite you to visit our website and for your convenience we will have a direct link to this listing down in the uh, written description of this video tour that will take you right to the listing page of this one where you're going to be able to find the current asking price, the current status of this one, as well as all of our contact information. You will be able to reach out to us by phone, by text, or by email all through the website. We do like to remind you if you send us an email and if it's been a business day you have not gotten a reply, check your spam folder please. And if you call us on the phone and get our voicemail, we'd like a return phone call, please make sure you leave us a message. If you'll do one better, if you leave us a detailed message, let us know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. We are very frequently in an areas without cell phone reception, so if you take the time to do that, as soon as we uh, either finish up with the customer or return to cell service area, we'll be able to, um, be able to receive your uh, message, return your call. If we, if we happen to miss you as well, we'll leave all the answers uh, that you uh, other questions that you asked on your voicemail to save some phone tag Here's that Bravo 2 Out drive that we mentioned earlier. We've got a three-step swim boarding ladder. We do have trim tabs We've got a small little ski tow hook right here now this, this boat's not going to be the most efficient boat to pull skiers This is kind of like an SUV of the boat world where you can sleep on it um, It's not so large uh, that it is going to take forever to plane off. Uh, you know, if you're an advanced skier, you'll probably be able to do so behind this, but keep in mind it is a bigger boat. It's going to take you a little bit to get turned around to pick your skier back up. And, um, and even with that Bravo 2 drive, it is, uh, you know, going to be a little bit slower to plane than your average bow rider. Uh, but uh, you may, um, may want to be able to pull the uh, kids or grandkids on uh, some uh, towables or things like that. So you do have the option go ahead and step across the dock and onto our small little integrated swim platform before I leave this area I should point out we do have a uh, small little onboard uh, fresh water pump that would be a pull out shower we've got a double bimini top that I happen to have both in the raised and upright position um, there is a connecting piece of the two um, two umbrella bimini tops right there in the center you can do um, you can just do the front bimini or you can do the front and the back uh, there's also some uh, camper canvas eyes and glass enclosure included with this one as well i'll show you a quick look at that here before we wrap up today so i do have the engine covers removed so that we can go ahead and show you the engine room first and then if you'll be patient with me i'll try to put those covers back into place so this is that 5.7 liter mercruiser uh, it's a carbureted inboard outboard again v8 uh, with that Bravo uh, 2 out drive. Now I should point out this has um, still been winterized so we would need to uh, to schedule a time to uh, to have this de-winterized prior to doing any kind of a uh, uh, marine survey or inspection on this one. Now we make all of our listings available for inspection, marine survey, water test, uh, you name it, it can be added as a contingency. Um, and those water tests are only scheduled with an acceptable offer to purchase um, and that's uh, that can be and again all those contingencies um, any and all those contingencies can be included with any offer uh, this is a consignment listing so we are happy to uh, make the boat available for you or your uh, mechanic or marine surveyor so they can expect it on your behalf now this is a six gallon dual source uh, water heater and dual source simply means that these two hoses right here are feeding off of the uh, the lake water that has been used to cool the engine and that gets circulated through your uh, through the water heater to make hot water just from simply running the engine there is no onboard generator to this one so to uh, 
But to make hot water, all you gotta do is simply run this, or whenever you're on shore power, um, plug it into a marina, you can also make hot water that way. Here's your onboard uh, water pump. We've got a pair of AGM batteries. Those were new in uh, 2018. We've got an onboard battery charger. Just mount it right there just behind it here. That is a uh, multi-stage uh, Xantrex onboard battery charger that will handle uh, your uh, flooded, your gel or your AGM batteries. And see if I can't crawl out of there. Over here on the starboard side, that would be your waste holding tank and onboard fresh water tank just forward of that. Fuel tank is right here below. That is an aluminum fuel tank. And uh, we will have the, uh, the fresh water and holding tank capacities listed at our website. That is at approximately uh, 70 gallon uh, onboard uh, aluminum fuel tank. And of course we've got the uh, plastic or polypropylene uh, fresh water and waste holding tanks. Those appear to be the same where in the neighborhood of uh, 10 to 15 gallons, maybe 20 at the max. We do have uh, our uh, a 30 amp shore power plug. Now there's no power cable included with this one, but that is where shore power can get plugged in. And then we've got dual uh, battery selector switch in that hatch as well. Now, if you'll bear with me here for just a moment, I'm gonna see if I can't put these hatches back in position. All right, there's the easy one there. Gonna need two hands for the larger one. Okay, so we gotta go back into place. I do apologize for that shaky camera work and those uh, that extra rattling around. So those engine hatches are back in place. Now we do have a uh, removable lounge table that will mount right here. We'll have photos of this at the website. Um, and there's also a filler cushion for that table. So that you can have the table as a lounge table. You can lower the table and put a filler cushion there and it's gonna make you a nice little sun pad back here in the rear part of this cockpit. And again, that is, I'll uh, remind you right below your uh, your double bimini top. So if you do happen to be some sun lovers, uh, you can remove that uh, that rear section, that bimini top, and have your nice little sun lounge back here. Got two cup holders integrated, a little bit of storage over here on this side, and uh, filler cushion, that cockpit lounge table, and the pedestals, as well as some life jackets are accessible right through there. Um, actually this, Natural raise up, there's those pedestals, some life vests. Basically everything that you see on this one right now will be included and in remaining with the boat. And in, in addition to a uh, few items that are not on the boat, and I'll try to point those out to you as we hop back off the boat. Uh, we also have access underneath this driver's seat here. Uh, we've got some, uh, we've got spare prop and some uh, oil and uh, looks like some spark plugs, distributor cap, and one of the boots for those bimini top stowed down there as well. This one is rated for 10 as your capacity plate right here. We've got a uh, VHF ship to shore radio, tilt steering wheel, 12 volt power outlet. We've got a Raymarine Dragonfly, excuse me, a Dragonfly 5 uh, GPS uh, chart plotter. It's gonna show you where you are on the map. You can zoom in, zoom out. Fuel gauge, battery voltmeter, tachometer with that built in um, engine hour meter and again there are 500 I don't know if that's going to show 537.9 engine hours on this one uh, we'll round that up to 538 this one basically is not is not being used the sellers have uh, moved on to their next boat so this one basically the engine hours are not going to change on this one um, until we get a buyer for this one and uh, we have it uh, dewinterized and uh, prepared for uh, again a marine survey water test etc drive trim gauge speedometer that would be uh, engine oil pressure, engine water temperature, 
the Ritchie compass just overhead and we have function tested the horn the windshield wiper uh, navigation lights your anchor light your bilge pump your blower uh, we do have an additional depth finder that's gonna be right here now we're not gonna get a reading on that because we are out of the water do have trim tabs those all appear to function just fine as well we've got a, uh, a newly added LED cockpit light there and another one right about Gosh, where is that light? I see the light from it. I don't see. Oh, just kind of right underneath that uh, that seat. Uh, there's also a um, dockside water inlet right back there under that seat as well, um, and that will allow you to connect uh, your marina water or shore water while you're here in a slip. And then you also can uh, fill up that uh, water tank and use your uh, fresh water pump as well in that onboard uh, water. Now your uh, your cabin door does double. Is, is basically uh, steps up to your bow here. Here's your bow hatch. Anchor storage locker would be here. And again, there is no anchor included with this one. Um, oh, I'm sorry, there is an anchor included with this one. There's your anchor and some road. And that would be your anchor mount right there for whenever you're underway. You can stay right there, be ready to be deployed. Three more cup holders up here at your uh, companion seat, just across from your driver's seat. That's a um, uh, a removable windshield that will mount up uh, along. I'm sorry, that's called that a windshield. That's your rearview mirror that will mount along your windshield. And we got a small little storage bin right here as well. That's a little integrated self-draining cooler. Now moving on down into the uh, the cabin of this one. We've got a small little galley right here. We've got an integrated Gold Star microwave. This is a single burner alcohol range. Um, and your alcohol is gonna go down in this little canister right here. Well, there's where your alcohol gets filled. And this is basically, here's your um, controls for it right there. This does not have the electric option. Alcohol only. We've got a small little safety feature right there that's gonna keep that raised up when you're using it. Small little uh, sink down here in the cabin as well. Lots of nice little storage, some, uh, some port windows. Here is that stereo. So this is a Pioneer AM, FM, CD, USB, auxiliary input stereo. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's your tuner auxiliary, but there was a USB that would plug in. And uh, we've got, I was trying to turn that power off. We do have two cabin, uh, two cabin speakers, two cockpit speakers. Um, and then here's your power panel where you can um, have shore power coming in. Um, again, there's your refrigerator. Oh, this is a 12 volt. This is a, uh, a, a newer added uh, Dometic uh, 12 volt refrigerator uh, this space will work off shore power or your battery power uh, small little integrated refrigerator the um, lever for it is uh, maybe if you're just gentle with it that will work just fine that does kind of want to tend to want to uh, to bump out but it does have a little track that, that uh, goes in there this is actually a little uh, vent that's designed to allow you to keep this vent it for when you're not using the uh, refrigerator um, so that you don't have a science experiment when you come back and then when you are using it you close that and it's going to go all the way oops all the way closed right there in that position and again there's your little handle for it um, I thought that was giving some issues but it's just a little it's it's just a little uh, gotta be gentle with it is all storage underneath your galley here um, we've got another 12 volt power outlet right here. So you got one of those at the helm, one down here in the cabin, some more storage here as well. And then we have a convertible V-berth. Now I'm not going to take the time uh, to raise and lower this during the video tour. I, I think I did enough of that shaky camera work, uh, just uh, putting the engine hatches back into place. But again, we'll have photos of this. So that dining table that can be removed, that can be lowered. There's a filler cushion that goes in place right there. And then that will turn um, your small little convertible V berth into a bed or sleeping area. We've got the two cabin lights on back there towards the bow of the boat. Uh, again, those cabin speakers on either side. You've got a lot of ventilation in here. We do have a, here's your, uh, your bow hatch. There is a screen for that. Um, and again, we've got, we've got several other um, 
hatches throughout. It's going to allow you to get some nice ventilation when you are out and underway. Hanging closet right here. Got a small throwable in there. There's that filler cushion for the dinette table. That bow hatches down in there as well. Um, and then I do want to take the time to show you before we go farther along too far. I want to show you this is our eyes and glass camper canvas enclosure. And it is stored in this nice little protective bag. This will allow you to kind of roll these up and, and get some extra life out of them. Keep them properly stored when you're not using them. Uh, canvas is in good uh, good condition, but I do want to call your attention to the eyes and glass. And you've got some eyes and glass um, on the sides. It's got the uh, the screens built in. That is a, a very nice feature, but there is a little bit of yellowing on the eyes and glass part. And um, I just want to call your attention to that here. Now, depending on how you use the boat, it might be something that's only going to get used for a few months out of the year anyway and this also may be something that you're going to store on the boat and not be boating in cooler weather regardless but i do want to call your attention to that try to make every effort to uh represent our listings as accurately as possible and that is part of it so here's your mid cabin back here we've got a small little privacy screen it's going to slide out here hit that and that's going to follow the track go all the way around kind of close that off for some privacy depending on who your guests are Maybe you've got a little one on board. Um, and then basically this is uh, this is a berth down here. We've got two 12 volt lights here, small little screen overhead. And then here's the rest of that space down this cabin. Another light right in there. And now then here's our head compartment. Step on out of there. All right, now we do have a uh, electric head that means we've got a little grinder on here a little macerator built in it's going to grind that waste on its way to the holding tank and that function tested as well small little sink this sink's going to double as a shower you're going to pull that out and mount it up here in the corner whenever you want to use this um, as a shower and you've got drain on the floor there now the uh, shower sump pump is not functional that does need to be replaced um, if you've never heard that term before, let me show you. There's your shower sump pump right there. It's basically a bilge pump that's in a little uh, little box. And when that shower water drains through the floor, it goes in that box. Uh, bilge pump kicks in and it uh, shoots the water overboard. So, fire extinguisher right here. That's just about going to do it here for the interior of this one. Let's go ahead and climb around the exterior. We'll start to kind of call your attention to any wear and tear. Actually, before I leave the cockpit, do have some stains in the seats um, and the seller has purchased some additional vinyl where you can have these recovered now they're not doing so small little uh, tear right there some stains on the companion seat here and then two little areas of wear back here on the back of that companion seat um, again just some stains over here on this back to back seat um, that looks like a little she had, Looks like a scratch, but it is not a tear. And I think this vinyl also looks decent up here. Trying to give everything a real quick once over for you. Small little stress crack right there. Another small one right here. And I saw one. I saw another one right here. Maybe it it would probably be better viewable from the exterior of the boat. So let's go ahead and climb off here. Bear with me again. Use our uh, swim boarding ladder. Step back down to the dock side. Actually, before I come all the way off, let me show you a good look at this outdrive. Again, this is a Bravo 2 outdrive. Uh, can't quite get a uh, read on the bellows. Uh, from what I could feel, they, they still had some nice give to them. Uh, there's that prop and a little bit of wear on that outdrive if i can get a little bit lower for you down closer to the water a little bit of wear on that outdrive especially down there on the bottom of that bottom of that skag bottom paint on this was done about 2017 and if you are going to have it in the water you will want to uh redo the bottom paint now if you're going to be trailering it or keeping it on a lift like the current owner is i think it's fine just like it is uh so we do have some little Repairs right back here on this transom corner. A few little marks here, a few little marks right there. I 
I remember seeing a little stress crack over here in this area somewhere, but now I'm not seeing it. Going up here above the rub row. We'll go back below the rub row here in just a moment. Small little mark right here. Um, oh, here's a little stress crack right here. You can see that. Um, and then a little bit of wear in that decaling. Now then, we're gonna go below the rub rail and come around just below our anchor. Where our anchor goes, follow this bow line down. And there has been some wear down on the hull. We got a few marks down here in the bottom paint here. So again, bear with me here. We're gonna try to get you up close to all of it so you can get a good feel for the condition. Uh, some wear in that vinyl right here, that vinyl decaling. And then here's where we've got a pretty good little mark right here into the hull of the boat. That's made a mark through the bottom paint and uh, through the gel coat into the fiberglass a little bit. See those fibers there? Now they've done, uh, made an attempt at kind of patching that up a little bit right in here. And coming on around, a few more marks going down through there as well. Another little mark right there through um, into the fiberglass right there as well. Right in here. That appears to have been sealed off. Now, uh, these areas of concern, will uh, you will want to have a marine surveyor check this. And they will look for kind of moisture intrusion that's gone penetrated uh, through. And um, a few other areas along this side really where uh, where the bottom paint has worn got that a little bit here on the side then through here those are basic kind of areas where that bottom paint's no longer there and that's down to the gel coat or just a real thin layer of bottom paint gel coat uh, appears to have a really nice shine to it got a few water spots in and up here a little bit of staining over here kind of below this sea ray this would be uh that should be like the fuel vent a little bit of staining right in there and some decaling issues right in, or decaling wear right in here probably where that fuel has come down that vent on fill ups and um worn off that vinyl a little bit oxidation's minimal now it is in need of a in need, in need of a good detail up here on the top side and you can see even just put a little bit of rubbing um and no product some kind of those water spots are going to come right off through there See right there a bit of dirt and I'll come right off. None of that really uh, concerns me at all. A little nick in the uh, gel coat here. Another one here. Small little scratch there. Nothing major. Again, that's just a little bit of dirt right there. It's going to wear right off. A little chip in the gel coat right there. All right, let's go on around to the port side. Oh, here's a, here's a look at that big mooring cover. That basically goes all the way up over the uh, the bow railing and over the cock uh, and, and down over the cockpit. Now the bimini tops do need to be down for that. There's a few holes in that cover, uh, but it, it definitely still has some uh, some life left in it. All right, again, kind of getting up close and personal with this one here. Get you down here close to this center line we just took a good look at the starboard side of all that um this would be the port side again a few more marks up here under this bottom paint a little mark in that uh, vinyl stripe in there and then there's down through that bottom paint same thing that bottom paint again if you're going to the water with this one you're going to want to redo that bottom paint a uh, few little scratches in the gel coat one right there Another one right here. None of that is very major at all. And then again, some wear in that vinyl decaling and some wear on the edge of this bottom paint as well. Little mark right there was probably patched up. sure what that is that does not feel like it's kind of looks like a scratch but it's smooth as can be so maybe it's just some dirt Put a little scratch in the decal in there small little mark right here a 
Overall, gel coat's in good shape on this one, um, up above the water line. Oh, here's some of that extra material uh, where you can have those seats recovered if you wish. And let me get you back over here to this port side corner. Same kind of thing over here. You've, you've got a small little, little bit of dock rash right in this edge right here. And a little bit of marks on this back corner rub rail. And that appears to be about it. So, I think that's going to do it for that one. Again, this is the 1996 Sea Ray 250 Sundancer. Again, trailer is included. Slip is not transferable. If you are looking for something in the North Lake area, feel free to reach out to us. We'll let you know if we're aware of any slip options that happen to be available. Otherwise, this one can be loaded up onto the trailer and hauled away. Again, this is the 1996 Sea Ray 250 Sundancer for sale with a uh, tandem axle matching trailer. And again, uh, more information of this one as well as all of our contact information is all going to be done through the website, www.yournewboat.com. You'll see our logo pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's just a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't already, that's a great way to get notified of new videos, which basically means new listings that come available in our area the moment we post them. If you do subscribe to that, uh, excuse me, if you do subscribe to our channel, Google will notify you, the, uh, notify you of that anytime a new video posts. Otherwise, if you're looking at YouTube, uh, curious if uh, something's still available, look for the link down in the uh, video description. That will take you to the uh, listing page at our website. And if you don't want to leave YouTube, we have two playlists. If you go to youtube.com slash your new boat, uh, we have two playlists. We have one of the current listings and one of the sold boats. We do leave our sold boat models there for other people, maybe looking at a, uh, at a model trying to get a, a feel for the layout. Uh, we leave those up so people can see those and, and uh, have them available for reference in the future. Otherwise, all of our current listings will just be in the current listing playlist. Uh, that's gonna do it uh, for us today. And again, that uh, our logo popping up in the top right hand corner of the screen is just shortcut to subscribe to our channel. And I thank you again for joining us.